Hi, this is a quick unboxing review video of the Microclimate Prime 2 thermostat. I couldn't find a hell of a lot of information about this on YouTube, so this is my little attempt and hopefully someone out there will find it useful. So I've got this as I really like the stats our American friends have, such as the Herbstat 4, which can safely control a number of vivs simultaneously. The closest in the UK I could find is the Prime 2. So let's see what it's all about. So the Prime 2 was once at the cutting edge of thermostat technology, that's for sure. Um, the Prime 2 itself has two dimming pulse outputs and one timed on off output. And so in a sense, I should be able to control three VIVs. In the box, you get a quick start guide, a software guide, and some instructions for changing the fuse. You have a USB cable and all the plug sockets for each of the channels. The unit itself is pretty solid. Actually looks pretty nice. There are three probes, each color coded to represent each of the channels. And these come at a very generous two and a half meters long. You also get uh, some spare fuses. Each of the probes and each of the outputs uh, are clearly marked on the back of the unit. It comes with four rubber feet, which um, are easily stuck to the bottom, and that stops the unit from sliding around on the top of the Viv. So currently I use three microclimate Evos, which whilst I really like them, the time keeps going out of kilter, and more importantly, they're taking up a lot of space behind the Vivs. Um, this means I can't push the Viv back to wall, as well as being a bit of a fire hazard, to be honest. These do manage the LED lights as well, but I'm planning on uh, using something slightly different um, to control those. Just to compare, this is the amount of wires from one microclimate Evo compared to the Prime 2. So I'm hoping it's going to be a bit of a space saver. One notable difference is the thickness of the probes with the Evo being substantially thicker. Switching on the Prime 2 makes a nice tune to get you started. The first task is to change the time, which we can do manually. Uh, this is really straightforward and the instructions can't be any clearer. And with those principles in place, you can pretty much change any setting on the Prime 2 manually without using the computer. However, using a computer does make everything very easy. Starting with attaching the USB cable to the unit um, to your laptop. Um, then you go to the browser, go to the microclimate.co.uk website and the download page. And you scroll down to the Prime software. For me, this is the Windows version. And then you open up the Prime setup zip file and select Prime setup. Then simply follow the setup wizard. This all takes uh, a few minutes. Once complete, you can close down all of those windows and open up the shortcut which appears on your desktop. This opens up the um, Microclimate Prime 2 dashboard. 
So you have five tabs across the top. First tab shows the status of each of the channels. So the temperature you've got them um, set at and the temperature they're currently running at. Then you have the main channel. So you can set the temperature that you want the thermostat to be uh, targeting and the different modes of fixed heating and cooling, the different timing methods, constant day and night, multi and periodic, and the different methods, so on, off, pulse or dimming. You can also change how fast the thermostat reacts to temperature change using the ramp time. You can also set the alarms. Um, over on the B channel is exactly the same, it's completely identical, all the same options. The R channel is where the Prime 2 gets very irritating because it doesn't have the dimming or the pulse op options. Um, so for me, I'm having to opt for an on off on a ceramic, which is not ideal. So finally, you have the options tab, which um, enables you to rename the channels. Also, you can turn the scrolling on the thermostat to off or on and the units from Fahrenheit to centigrade, depending on what your preference is. You can also change the contrast on the thermostat and the logging period if you are going to um, collect data, which I'm not going to do. So. Selecting the top viv, I've changed the timing to day and night, and as you can see, the right-hand side now gives me the options to set the time um, and the temperatures I want the day and night to be. So again, very straightforward when you're using the computer. So just to demonstrate the scrolling feature, uh, this basically does what it says on the tin, and we'll scroll through continuously and give you a status of each channel, um, the temperature it's reading and the power uh, that it's delivering to that particular channel. You don't have to plug into a computer to make changes on the go. Uh, making manual changes is really, really straightforward. It's just a matter of a few clicks here and there. Uh, the big big difference, I guess, is that you can't change the name of the channels. As we've seen before, the probes are quite thin, so um, quite easily to put into the Viv. I've got these now set up quite nicely, and um, the temps are holding relatively steady, uh, as you can see here. But I'm going to continue to monitor. So in summary, so far it's doing the job for me. It would be absolutely perfect if the third channel offered the additional control methods of dimming and pulse. That's probably its only fault really. But I'm giving it uh, a week or so and I will see how we get on.